Welcome to the on-demand version of Getting Started with Jump. This series of short videos is designed to help you start using Jump by demonstrating some of the key features and tools using a case study. In these videos, you'll learn about the four components of the Jump data table, the data grid, table panel, columns panel, and rows panel, and how these components are used to store and structure your data and store metadata, or information about your data. You'll learn about jump analysis and graphing platforms, such as distribution and graph builder. And you'll learn how to ask jump to save scripts as part of a data table file so that you can easily recreate your analyses and share your work with colleagues. You can watch the videos in order or use the navigation pane to navigate to specific topics. There are opportunities to practice your jump skills throughout using data from the sample data folder that's included in the software. Some of the practices challenge you to use features not shown in the demonstrations. Although the case study we'll follow in these videos is specific, it can be generalized to any situation where you have a lot of data, it might require cleanup or other manipulation, it might not all be in one data table, and maybe some of it isn't even in Jump yet. So let's imagine that you're a data analyst for an online sporting goods retailer that sells thousands of different products. You have data about five years of customer orders, the prices of the products, and details about the products. And you want to be able to answer questions about the data, such as, how many different products have been sold? Are there types of products that have higher profit margins than others? Which types of products are sold the most, or the least? And what are the average prices for different product categories? To answer these questions, we'll begin with a jump data table and do some data cleanup by recoding values and assigning column properties. We'll add a column to the data table using a formula to calculate new values based on existing columns in the data table. And we'll create a new table to summarize the data from our original table. Some of the data that we need to answer our questions is stored in an Excel file, so we'll import that using the Excel import wizard. Then we'll join the summary data table with the imported table so that all of the relevant information is in one place. We'll use jump platforms to create jump reports and use tools to visualize and filter the data to answer our questions. Once we've created and customized the reports we need, we can save the scripts that will recreate them back to the data table, where they'll be saved as part of the data table file. The reports can then be recreated by simply clicking the green play button.